Hello everyone, welcome back to Bluefin Aquatics where we share our knowledge and experience with you. So in the very beginning there, we showed you a bit of footage in regards to our red hump geovagus with the water uh, slightly tannined as you can see from that and it is slightly acidic for them. So uh, this all helps. We've had them breeding in this tank before and uh, with great success. Now the question is, uh, what do we use to uh, add tannins to the water? Well, uh, we've all heard of the almond leaves and so forth. Uh, they help soften the water as well, and plus leaves a bit of tannin in the in the tank. Um, but what we do here, we've tried the, uh, the leaves, the almond leaves, and we found it be very, uh, let's, say, let's say expensive and very costly for the amount of tanks we do have, uh, in which we would like to change the majority of our tanks. But uh, we have been experimenting with other tree sub uh, species and uh, we've actually come up and trialed it for many a months before we let you know what we're doing. So what we're going to show you here now is uh, we've got the almond leaf, which is uh, very popular, which people can get in the shop quite easily. And also we've got um, what we call a London plane tree, which is uh, similar to this, which uh, helps as well. But what we've been doing, we've been using the London plane tree leaves, which is in the estate where we actually are. And they are prolific out in other new estates as well with the local council planting these. So what we actually do, we wait for the uh, winter to come in and we wait for them to dry out. So they go to a very dark brown, as you can imagine what color they are. So that's basically what uh, we do. And also what we've tried as well, we're trying to uh, put uh, some sticks or some uh, nice logs into the tank just to make it a bit more homely for the geovagus uh, that they're there. And we've got about four or five different species here. Now we're just gonna show you this branch here. Now this has come off one of the uh, council uh, gum trees that's actually uh, on our property there and the state where we are, I've got quite a few of these which the council do plant. Now what we wait for is these sticks are basically dead, dead, dead dry. So what we do then is we either keep the longer ones for the bigger tanks or we're going and break it and put it into a smaller tank. Now what we have to wait for, and it's very important to know, is that you must put the tree stump, make sure it is dry, dead and therefore there's no green because there is a possibility that it may leach some sap out of it which can poison your fish. However, the stick that I've just showed you um, is about four months old now and is dead dry. Basically how we tell, we just break it in half and you can see it's all dry inside. There's no seepage of any liquid of any, any kind or uh, anything like that. So what we do there is that we'll put that into our tank, but of course we just uh, clean all that down, put it into our tank and we let it sit in there for roughly about three, four days and just see how the tanning process uh, is going, see how much is leached out of this uh, branch that we've got. So that's basically what we do to add tannins to our water. But again, like with anything, it's trial and error. Now, these things we work for us, um, doesn't necessarily mean it works for you depending on the fish you're trying to keep. So what we do here, as we've showed you, is to use a bit of this gum tree, the branch there that falls off and is completely dead, and we use that to scape a lot of our tanks. So and that's what we uh, look forward to. But like, the, like we've just said before, it's just trial and error and see how you go without fish in the tank when you go to do that, which is very, very important. Otherwise you might end up killing your own fish. So uh, we've done this over many months now, um, we'd say close to about six, seven months, and we haven't had any uh, disruption with the fish. The fish haven't, uh, Said, you know, basically gone wild about it and uh, gone a bit crazy. No, they've actually embraced the, the tannins in the tank and uh, they also look a lot more healthier too because we're trying to basically duplicate some of the species where they've actually come from. So the colouring of the tannins is a likely thing for them to see. Um, so that's where we are with that. Now, uh, if you'd like this video, please give it a thumbs up or consider subscribing to our channel. Um, that's it for now for this video. Um, we look forward to seeing you next time on our videos. Uh, take care and we'll see you soon.